All right, sounds good, Balan. Thank you. Time now is 11.46 here on your Monday morning, and it's time for part two of today's In the Know. We're going to talk about a tradition around this time of year for kids to get outside and play. Obviously, it's summer break, right? So they might as well. But for this event, and maybe to some parents' chagrin, they're encouraged to get as muddy as possible. That was a bit of a spoiler there, but of course, we're talking about kids' muddy madness, all in support of the mission of St. Jude. We got Jeff Shefferly Uhn Lebrock here to share more about what you need to know. Jeff, thank you for coming in today, man. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. All right. This is an annual Central Illinois tradition. Absolutely. We partner with you guys. I know we've done a lot of promotion. Our sports director, Jim Matson, has done this a lot. Let's talk about, for those who may not be familiar with what this is, because they're like, oh, kids getting, you know, dirty. This, that doesn't sound like a good time in the laundry room, right? <laughs> well, let's start off with the first thing. We clean them up afterwards for you. Perfect. <laughs> so All that's right. the best part. Um, no, it's a, it's a great event. It's been going on for over a decade now in Morton. Um, a group of St. Jude runners who do the Morton to Peoria St. Jude run figured out how do we come up with a new unique event that's different, right? We've got St. Jude all over our community doing lots of great things, lots of great different events. How do we do something different? And this event kind of grew out of that. Um, and the, the kids get a chance, all ages, right, 2 to 17, um, can, can show up in different r lengths of courses for the different ages. Um, for the younger kids, of course, the parents can go alongside and get through some obstacles and some different events. But, we, yeah, they do end up in a mud pit at the end. Um, <laughs> and then we've got a big area at the end where they can get hosed down. Um, but we do, you know, a change of clothes, probably, probably a solid idea. <laughs> I was going to say, for anybody that might be bringing their families to this, yeah. what would you recommend they wear? You know what? It, it, I certainly bring your, your dirtiest, your things you're willing to be have torched a little bit, right? Because it's going to get muddy. It's going to get soaked at the end. Um, we've seen people do everything from, you know, running and grabbing old, old shoes and duct taping them to their feet even. Um, you see all sorts of fun things. But really, I think the idea is it's an event, right? It's not just a quick race and you're out of there. Um, they're flighted throughout the day, so you, you're not necessarily there all day for, you know, four hours or whatever. But you get a time slot. You can show up. They, they get in tune with um, what they're running. And then the family can hang out, right? We've got the baseball fields. We've got food. We've got vendors. We've got face painting and, and all sorts of fun things to go alongside of it. So the kids really are having a blast because really that's what this event is about, right? I mean, yes, it's about St. Jude, but it's also about having our, these kids in our community learn what it's like to support other kids. Yeah. Um, they're the ones doing the fundraising, right? The kids are out there doing this process, and we, we know parents help, and that's awesome. Um, but a big part of it was really fun is when you see kids show up the day of with, with a bag of change or a bag of things and say, hey, I hosted a lemonade stand. I did a car wash or whatever I did. And they're bringing in, you know, whatever it is. And it's just, it's incredible to see kids supporting other kids. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. I think that really is a good summation of it, kids supporting kids. I mean, you really can't get much cooler than that when it comes to a fundraising effort, especially something like this. Well, I think it also just helps our next generation learn, hey, what do we need to do to give back in our community? It's so easy to focus on things that they want to do and what they get to do. And, and this is part of that, right? They get to do a really fun event, but it's supported by the fact that they're out there helping kids support kids and do that. And, and listen, people fundraise at all different amounts, and some do a huge amount, and some, listen, are just going to do the registration fee and be there. And that's awesome, too, right? This is, that's why this event is cool, because it can really capture all sides of that. Jeff, what do people need to know when it comes to registration, dates, times? What yeah, do they need? so the event is this Saturday. starts at 9 a.m. Um, in Westwood Park in Morton. Um, the biggest thing is kidsmuddymadness.com. We try to make it as easy as possible. So kidsmuddymadness.com. You know, get signed up. Like I said, different age ranges, different things. Get signed up ahead of time if you want to make sure you're not towards the end of the list um, as far as times because it'll certainly be a warm day. Yeah. Um, so if we can get you in a little earlier, that's great. Um, but also, just as importantly, we need more volunteers right now. Um, we've got a huge group, um, 75 plus volunteers already, but we really could use a handful more. Um, oh. So if anybody wants to get on it, at kidsmuddymadness.com, you can click right on it, hit a spot, sign up to be a volunteer. You get a t-shirt in the process, of course, to be noticed in the community and all the things. Um, we could use the help on that end, but it's, it's really awesome. The event's got 750 plus kids uh, lined up and set, ready to go. Um, so it's going to be a big one, but it's again, it's spread out over a few hours, so it's never this mass chaos. It's, it's a really great, smooth running event. I love it. Obviously, plenty of opportunities to help out for plenty of different people. Jeff, really excited for this, man. Thanks it's so fun. much. All righty. We'll have more after the break. Stick around.